Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Community College of Rhode Island. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NJC AA Region 21 contest with the visiting Community College of Rhode Island Knights and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJC AA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after today's game. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. And now for tonight's starting lineup, first with the visiting CCRI Knights. Number one, Tiandra Hands. Number four, Tatiana Correa. Number three, Kelsey Hernandez. Number five, Avernus Lindo. And number 23, Nia Mims. The Knights are recoached by Brittany Brown and assisted by Denise Scott. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At guard, a freshman from Seacock, Massachusetts, number three, Megan Perino. At guard, a freshman from Swansea, Massachusetts, number 10, Casey Amaral. At guard, a freshman from Berkeley, Massachusetts, number 30, Megan Parrish. At forward, a sophomore from Miami, Florida, Number 33, Adia Contractor. And at forward, a sophomore from New Bedford, Massachusetts. Number 31, the boss, Deborah Banks. BCC is coached by Serge Moniz and assisted by Tracy Bright. And now, if you would all please rise for the singing of our national anthem by our own Lucy Cabral. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this edition of Bristol Community College Women's Basketball as your Bayhawks are taking on the CCRI Knights from FRC Media. I'm Craig Salvador, joined as always by Dave Cardoza. Dave, this is our first game since Thanksgiving. It's definitely great to be back for this doubleheader. Yeah, definitely good to be back in the saddle with the Cowboy. So um, yeah, definitely looking forward to Bayhawks basketball here tonight. Bayhawks come in 0-6, um, well 2-6, right? So. Yep, 0-6 uh, regional play, I believe, 2-6 overall. 2-6 overall, so 0-6 on regional play. You have a regional game here tonight against um, CCRI, who is 2-0. 2-0 in regional play. Yep, and looks like 6-2 overall. Six and, yeah, 6-2 six and two overall. So uh, we're back in the saddle here and here at LaFrance Gymnasium, getting ready for the tip-off and looking forward to a good night. Doubleheader. Should be an interesting matchup. Uh, we've always talked about BCC having a limited bench, but it looks like CCRI will also have that problem. So definitely might be an interesting matchup. 
And with BCC, they have um, they have Iris Rivera on the bench tonight, so we'll see how that works out. And we're seeing Adia Contractor for the first time this season. As there's a three by number 23, gets it for the first points. Nia Mims from three. And wide open, nice shot there. It was wide open. Bayhawks failed to get to her. And the full court press and a steal. Passing it, getting the layup and in for two. That is Nia Mims again. And we talked about the lack of fast starts for BCC. Already down 5 nothing yep, on, their, on their home court. Yep, as they're trying to work around the full court press. There's a bounce pass to Deborah Banks who can't get to it. Goes out of bounds and another turnover. And in the first 30 seconds, uh, the Knights have already scored five points and they get another ball and a turnover. And BCC just coming out sloppy so far. And there's another open shot. That's Nia Mims again. Can't get this one to fall. It will get rebounded and put up. Can't get it to go, but the foul will be drawn. That was Avi Lindo who will be going to the line. The foul was on Adia Contractor. And we're finally seeing Adia Contractor getting back into the lineup. We know she sat out the first handful of games anyway um, before Thanksgiving. Good to see her back out there. And in the starting lineup today. And the two freshmen on the bench today, Craig, on the two freshmen that have given this team a lift. And that's um, Kaylee Oliver, the freshman from St. Raphael's Academy in Swansea, Massachusetts, and Iris Rivera, who's been a huge part of this um, BCC team, giving them a lift, a freshman from New Bedford Vogue, Iris Rivera, both of those two gals on the bench to start the game. Yeah, they've been some of the highest scorers on this team as uh, Lindo, she's able to sink both of her free throws. But yeah, Iris Rivera, Kaylee Oliver, they've been the two highest scorers on this team. So interesting to see them start on the bench as there's another turnover. Wide open is the Knights player who's going to oh, pass nice, it over. Nice dish there. And that is Nia Mims. Nia Mims. Nia Mims might have the highest scoring points of the game come and the end of this. She has about seven of the nine points already. And the best hair. And the best hair. <laughs> if anyone remembers from our games last season, especially during the men's games, we were all about the hair game. All about the hair game. And the turnovers, are, the turnovers are abound right now for BCC. Down 9 nothing. It's Kelsey Hernandez. San Hernandez directing traffic, gives it away to the paint. They're going to call steps on number four. That is Tatiana Correa. About time stuff had come good from the BCC zone. It's been like a soft zone. And um, really, the, uh, the Knights doing what they want against that zone right now. And now they're playing full court press. Megan Parrish with a full head of steam going all the way, puts it up, draws the contact. Bucket won't go, but the foul will go to Avi Lindo. So Megan Parrish will be going to the line to try to get the first points of the game for BCC. And good to see Megan uh, break the press there, break the pressure there on her own, get into the basket. I'd like to see her be more aggressive. I'd like to see more out of the sophomore, Miss Parrish. Can't get the first one to go. Free throw shots have been, the free throw shooting for, for BCC has been hard this year, so far. Yeah, it hasn't been the best. And that one's able to go, so there's the first point for BCC. Nine to one, two minutes so far gone in this first quarter, as Hernandez is gonna be passing to number five, giving it back to Hernandez. Hernandez thought about it, she's looking to drive in the paint, almost lost it, gives it away in the corner. Bring it in herself, throws it up was number five, Avi Lindo. And Hernandez able to recover with it somehow. Oh my goodness. Hernandez in the corner for three, gets it. And BCC being sloppy on defense. Right now the Knights running all over them. I'd like to see BCC extend that zone. They're letting those, they're letting the shooters for the Knights just sit out there and shoot. Open looks. Megan Parrish puts up a three over shot, missing everything. Oh, gets no. recovered by horrible, the Knights. Horrible shot by Parrish there, my goodness. And down low is... Tiandra Hands who gives it away for three. Missed. That was Nia Mims again. Here's Hands. Inbound pass from Lindo in the middle of the paint. Can't get it. Rebound by Deborah Banks. I'd like to see BCC slow it down here. They're kind of helter skelter so far. And Megan Parrish gives it away to Megan Perino. Can't get it. Deborah Banks with a rebound gets it swatted out of her hand. And Casey Amaral comes with it, misses it again. Idiot Contractor, BCC with the boards, but they can't buy a bucket. Contractor gets fouled on the play. Well, good effort there by Idiot Contractor to get her own rebound, go up with it and get the foul. That's what you like to see. Foul was on number four, Tatiana Correa. 
going to be Contractor's first time at the line this game. Missing the first one again, Dave, as you were saying, continuing with the theme. Yeah. You know, when you get to the line and you get these opportunities, you've got to sink them. You can't get the second one as Hernandez gets the rebound. Hernandez going down court, and that's going to be a travel. Kind of hesitated on the pass, and she picked up her foot, so there was a travel on the play. And BCC looking to take advantage of the turnover. 12 to 1 in the early going here. Megan Parrish got a screen from Banks, gives it back to Banks at the key, giving it back to Parrish. Parrish bobbles it a little. She's looking to drive, gives it away to Amaral Banks yeah. now. Banks puts up a jumper. Can't get it to go as the Knights will rebound it. Here's Nims with God, no one on, on her. Parrish again. Parrish trying to break her. Nims with a good move. Oh, nice move there. Nia Mims gets two points, evading Megan Parrish and Banks at home. Very skilled play there by Mims. BCC looking out of sorts here on the offensive end. Oh Megan my goodness. For, Megan Farino, not the best shot we've ever seen. Here's Hands with no one on her, throws it up off the glass, can't get it. Nia Mims gets the rebound and gets it in. Wow, Nia Mims really showing off the rebounding skills. And I remember I remember Teandra Hands from last year. Actually, no, she's a freshman. Must have been must be a little sister. I think the roster sheet's outdated, so I think you're right. I think we did see her last year. Yeah, we definitely did. I definitely remember that. You don't, for, you don't uh, forget too many people with the last name Hands. Definitely remember, definitely remember Kelsey Hernandez, too. Yep, I remember Kelsey Hernandez. I remember uh, Teandra Hands. I remember Deasia Allen as well. So CCRI returning a lot of players. Deborah Banks gives it to Contractor. Contractor up and off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Hernandez. BCC with a long goodness. pass the Tom Brady throw and gets the <laughs> gets it off the glass. Tom Brady throw. Avi Lindo for two points, banking it off the glass. Who'd you say that was? Uh, it was number five, Avi Lindo. She was the one who got off the glass. I didn't see who had the throw. Megan Parrish gets it. She's going to throw it up off the glass, nice. and there is the first field goal for BCC. Well, nice catch. Megan, Megan Parrish had to go up to catch that one, and then she comes down with it, puts it softly off the glass. Hands gives it away in the corner to Nims, gives it back to Hands. Some give and go action. Nice ball movement there. And Lindo picked up her dribble. It's going to be a travel. I don't know, it seems like all these other teams that BCC plays, they get in their half-court set, they, they, they move the ball, they move well without the ball, they set picks for each other, they have their set plays, they have their offense that they're running, and it seems like when BCC gets the ball, it's just like, I don't know what we're doing right now. Hmm. Knights no longer going the full-court press, going for more of a zone defense now. Trying to give it away. Here's Parrish now. Parrish, Parrish with a nice cr crossover. Oh, where's the foul there? And that one gets stripped away from Perino. The Knights very active on defense. So Megan Parrish doesn't get the foul, but Megan Perino does draw the foul. But was not in the act of shooting. So Deborah Banks will be inbounding it. Gonna give it to Contractor. Got stolen away from Hernandez. Another turnover for BCC. As here comes Hands going to oh, the left. Hand, oh. That was almost a yeah. nice pass, but yeah, got bobbled was, on the catch. You know, that was, yeah, that was a nice look and went through the hands of, of uh, Jada, Little, Jada Littlejohn. And the Knights, the Knights are playing that BCC men's defense. Full court pressure all over the court. Banks thought about three, and they're going to call steps on her. I'm not sure why 80 year contractor and uh, and Kaylee Oliver aren't in the court right now. They could definitely help this team. Well, let's see if they even get into the game. Hernandez gives it away to Hands. Hands going through the defense, off the glass, no good, gets yeah, taken away. How do they let her get in there? That was a nice drive there, but a little bit too hard by Hands. That it was, and BCC gets the rebound. It's Megan Parrish is going to get fouled. They're going to say no shot. The foul is on Jada Littlejohn. It's her second. 18 to 3 with four minutes left in the first quarter. 
That'll be the fourth team foul for the Knights. Banks a bounce pass to Contractor gets blocked. Oh, they're gonna call. Gonna go up and down. Yep. And she had a, she was wide open. That was a good that was a good inbound play from underneath the basket. But Adia just psyched herself out. Are they gonna get the ball back? So it's gonna be possession arrow of, of the Bayhawks. Parrish now driving to her right, throwing it up, can't get oh, it to go, nice, but she will get fouled. Drive. Yes, nice strong drive there by Megan Parrish. She got hacked, so she'll be going back to the line. Megan Parrish be coming out being more aggressive. Yeah, we've seen in the past, Megan Parrish always, uh, you know, she's probably seen her flying through the paint, putting the play before her body, and now she's going to the line again. She'll get the first one to go. And BCC's going to have an opportunity to shoot more free throws. That's five team fouls by the visiting Knights, so. Yeah, but as you said, they've been struggling from the line. Megan Parrish not struggling there, getting both of them, and that's what BCC needs to do, is be able to sink their free throws. When they get free points, they got to get them. Here's a three from number 25, no good, as Cat Raposo gets rebounded by Adia Contractor. God, when the Knights swing the ball, when they swing the ball into that corner, BCC just a little bit too late getting there. Luckily, that one missed. Deborah Banks not able to get the pass going as Kelsey Hernandez able to intercept it. A lot of turnovers by the Bayhawks. Bayhawks just kicking themselves in the foot. And Hernandez going through the defense, puts it off the glass and in. Oh man, Kelsey Hernandez, they got, little, they got little guards, but they get into the teeth of the defense, they get into the lane, and they know what to do with it. Perino somehow saved that, but it's going to get knocked out of bounds, but it is going to stay for the Bayhawks. Perino looked like a volleyball player there, like saving and like getting a dig. I was able to find, <laughs> was able I mean, to either, find uh, Wilska Kelly. Either way, I don't know what happened just now, but all I know the Bayhawks have the basketball underneath their own basket. But Banks finds Parrish. Parrish going to the left side. Can't get it. Contractor with the rebound. No good again. Tipped up and rebounded by Kelly. Idiot yeah, Contractor said a lot of opportunities, a lot of bunnies, a lot of missed opportunities there. There it is. Raposo missing again. Deborah Banks up with the rebound. That shot in the corner, or that shot in the wing is there for the Knights. They just keep missing. But BCC just failing to get there to the perimeter to guard these uh, Knights players. There's finding Banks. Banks there to the right side and gets it to go. There's something. Nice dump off there by Parrish, dumping it into Banks and puts it gracefully off the, off the window. Knights again with some give and go action as Hernandez puts up a three, can't get it, gets her own rebound. Gives it to Hands. Hands going to drive to the paint. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebounded step by. Step oh, up on these girls. They got rebounded by Contractor, but it got knocked away from her. So the Knights recovering again. Hands with a crossover going under the rim. Now oh sending back God. out to the three-point area. She's like a little flea out there, Tiandra. Oh, nice pass there by Kelsey Hernandez to a cutting. It's Cat Raposo. Cat Raposo, but she couldn't connect. And that's what I'm doing if I'm Megan Parrish. Every time I get the ball, and, I, and if, if I don't have the opportunity to pass it to Deborah Banks, if she's not open, I'm going to the hole. Because right now, this offense for BCC seems inept. So if I'm, if I'm Megan Parrish and I have the opportunity, I'm trying to take it to the rack. And most likely, I'll get fouled. Because right now, I think you're limited offensively, Craig. You've got, um, you got eight year contractor out there with Megan Perino. And, you know, Casey Emerald, who's a good shooter from the outside when she, when she has a chance to get a set shot out there. But other than that, your, your two best offensive players, besides Megan Parrish, are on the bench right now. And we don't know that reason, but they're both suited up. So right now they look very comfortable on the end of the bench being spectators. We've got less than two minutes remaining in the first quarter. We'll see if we see them at all in the second quarter, second half of the game. Bounce pass to Hernandez. Hernandez gives it away. Jumper for two. No good over shot. No one's going to get to it. Finally, Megan Parrish comes up with it. And she's driving as usual. She's going to go up. Puts it off Very the glass and good. in. Very good. Megan Parrish going into second gear. Driving up, driving up to the hole and laying it in. Yep. Nice drive by Megan Parrish. Megan. Now Hands puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebounded. No. It gets taken by Hands again. Somehow the one to come up with it. How is Tiandra Hands getting these rebounds right now? Are you kidding me? 
Megan Parrish with the block, and they're going to call a travel. Oh, that was good defense by Megan Parrish, getting all ball there and causing causing the turnover. And if you're Coach Serge Moniz right now, how, how, are you, how are you not substituting? I'm not sure what the case may be, if this is disciplinary reasons, but how, are, how, is, how is Iris Rivera and Kaylee Oliver not in the game right now? All season long you've had, you've had a short bench and you haven't been able to substitute, and now you have players on your bench and you don't do it? I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of is disciplinary reasons. I don't want to assume that. You know, I don't want to assume anything, but no, that's the only thing I can think of right now. And if that's the case, like I said, you don't want to spec. You know, you don't want to speculate or. You know, because like I said, these have been two players who've been nothing but great for this team. Yeah, in the early going, they've been two good, uh, two good young additions. So we'll see if they get in in the second quarter or second half or whatever the case may be. But right now, 20 to 10. Not too bad, Craig, from where they started. Nope. Starting to come back. As Hernandez has it again, gives it to Raposo. Raposo thought about it. Good job by Contractor getting out there. Finally, someone going out there and defending the perimeter shot. Now Maria Vasquez was looking to drive. She got taken out by Megan Parrish. So now Maria Vasquez going to the line. That's BCC's only second. They're uh, only their second team foul of this quarter. BCC on a little on a little mini run, a little seven to two run. It was eighteen to three. Looked like they were about to get blown out of the gym. Another a, a missed free throw there by Maria Vasquez. Looked, it looked like they were about to get blown out of the gym, Craig. And now it's twenty to ten, and that's pretty respectable from where they started. They were getting humiliated at fir at first. If I'm BCC, I'm slowing the game up. And as you say that, Megan Parrish looking to drive, taking it herself, banging Ooh. off the glass, can't get it to go, tipped up. Hernandez getting it, good gives thought, it to though, Hands. Good drive. She has no one on her. She will lay it up the glass easily and in two points. Final 30 seconds, shot clock is off. Yeah, she gets out on the break, and she's just so speedy. Thought she would have heard the footsteps there, but she calmly lays it in. Good job by Tiandra. Banks almost got it swiped away from her. I'm going to throw it up, and uh, uh, Tiandra Hands not, has it again. Not how you want to end the half. Tiandra Hands. Great body, body control and lays it up and in with the defender all over. And, the BC, and BCC will get the last shot as Parrish looking to drive, gives it away and that gets blocked, but it'll be a travel nonetheless. 2.4 seconds remaining in this quarter, 25 to 10 in favor of the CCRI Knights. And that's a shame, Craig, because you get the, you get the ball, it's 20 to 10, and you had a chance for, you had a chance to hold the ball for the last shot. But instead, you turned the ball over twice, and now it's 25 to 10. So, weak ending there for the for the um, for the BayHawks at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, going we'll from see the what happens now. Yeah, going from the first quarter where BCC is really struggling from was really their defense, especially when it came to defensive rebounds. Like, how many times do we see during that quarter that Tiandra Hands can't people significantly shorter than some of our players, and they're the ones coming up with it. It's yeah. not even that they were really catching it. It was that BCC was really just sloppy catching it. There was a lot of drops, a lot of balls rolling on the ground, and Tiandra Hands or Kelsey Hernandez were just the ones to pick them up. Yeah, pretty sneaky. Tiandra Hands and and uh, Kelsey Hernandez, short in stature, but they're just they just find a way to get in the lane. They find a way to get to get their own rebounds and and just out hustling BCC right now. But BCC, their starting five played the whole first half. I'm not even really sure if the Knights even substituted. They did a couple times, I think. We saw um, Kat Raposo didn't start. I believe we saw her come in along with Maria Vasquez. So they have been subbing, but haven't seen too much subbing, I guess, throughout the game. Right, so very, 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 very minute yeah. substitutions by Rhode Island, but, they've had the, they've, but they have done it. Yeah. Now we see um, Kaylee Oliver going into the game. Iris Rivera will still be at the end of the bench there, but Kaylee Oliver going in. Maybe we'll see Aris Rivera later on. Who knows? Yeah, this could be a strategy that they do. Maybe they just, uh, instead of subbing repeatedly, they have someone play a whole quarter, <laughs> take them out, put well, a new person this, in. It's the only thing I can think of. If this is strategy, in my opinion, it's not good strategy. If this is for pure strategy reasons, it's not a good strategy. You want to have your best players out there as, a, as that was number 12 there. 
with the follow up, a nice follow up on her shot and put the put back. BCC failing to block out. Deborah Banks gives it to Parrish. Here's Kaylee Oliver. Her first shot of the game is short. She will get her own rebound though, but Knight's all over her and this oh, one gets broken oh, away. Loose ball. Ah. Little John comes up with it. She's gonna drive. Parrish can't do anything about it. It's banked off the glass for two. And just like that, it's like a 19 point lead. Big lead again for the Knights. Good ball movement on the last possession by the Bayhawks. Ooh, nice. okay. There's a deep three from Kaylee Oliver. Can't get it yeah, to go. Gets too, rebounded by Vasquez. Way too deep. And Parrish had a bullet pass. Adia Contract was surprised she caught it. Vasquez airmailing it yeah, over. That's going to be backcourt. Yeah, proposes head. So turnover, BCC's ball. You saw Adia Contract, and when she did catch the ball, she immediately got rid of it. You know, kind of looked like she might have, you know, turned around, tried to drive to the hoop, and said she got rid of it quickly. I still want to see what it looks like with Kaylee Oliver, Megan Parrish, Ira Cervera, and Deborah Banks. That foursome out there. We have yet to see that. Contractor, use your body. Gets that one off the glass, no good. Got knocked out, and they're going to say it's BCC's ball, and there is a foul on Jada Littlejohn, it looks like. Adia Contractor has a frame where if you get the ball to her close enough to the basket, all she needs to do is make one dribble move and just kind of use her body to get to the basket, but she's not, she's not doing that. Banks trying to find something. Picks up her dribble, gives it away. No, Cat Raposo gets the steal. And she is driving all the way, looking oh, to pass, nice takes fake. it herself, throws it up and in for two. Looked like she like faked, like was gonna fake the pass, and she puts it up and in. Yeah, she knew what she was doing, going all the way with it, putting it up, easy floater for two. Cat Raposo, like the name too. Bounce pass, Kaylee Oliver, giving it to Contractor. Contractor nice jumping. That's what I'm talking about. And they're gonna say it went off the shot clock. Oh. Idiot Contractor's gonna get those looks. She's establishing good position in there, just needs, use those legs. BCC's been getting good looks in this game, but just not unable to finish so far. And they're turning the ball over a lot. In the corner is Vasquez, overshot, rebounded though. Puts it up and in is, as number 12. Couldn't find, no, that's actually number 24, that is Welska Kelly. Yeah, this, um, just poor position in there by the Bayhawks. No excuse for not blocking out there. Deborah Banks with a jumper for two. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. She can hit that corner shot. She uses those legs. Nice jump shot there in the corner by DB, the boss. Vasquez in the corner, not putting it up, giving it away back to Raposo. A little around the world action as this one is up. No good. Oliver almost got the rebound, got taken away. Here's Little John. Little John driving to the paint, puts it up, no good. Banks almost got the rebound, but too again. Too many second opportunities. Too many se second and third opportunities, Greg. Can't do that to a good team like the Knights. Is in the corner, no good. Again, Little John has it, no good. Banks uh, finally getting a rebound. Six offensive rebounds on one possession. And this is what I talked about in the first quarter where BCC really struggled with defensive rebounds. Parrish at the top of the key. Looking to drive, she's going to step back. Gives it away. Good man to man, good man to man defense. Nice save by Adia Contractor, but Casey Amaral trying to bounce pass, just got blocked. Little John going to give away to Raposo. Raposo thought she towed the line, but they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. Knights are playing good, unselfish basketball. And when they get out on the break, they finish. I mean, there's no and ifs or buts about it. They find the open, they find the open player, and they they finish these these fast breaks. Nice, nice pass play. there. There's nice a good play. play. Good bang bang play. Nice pass there by Parrish. Nice little touch pass, and Kaylee Oliver puts it in cleanly off the glass and in. Good hand, good display of hands there too. Step back here's in for two. No good. Rebounded by Banks, but they're going to try to rip it away from her. There will be a foul called. Bayhawks just need to get pissed off. Show some anger. Show some gronk. Show some gronk. <laughs> you want him to hit someone after the play? <laughs> Megan Parrish driving all the way. 
Ooh, what no a defensive foul play. On the play. Wow, no, that was all ball there by number 12. We don't have any info on her, unfortunately. Okay. Either way, that was a nice, nice defensive play. That was a strong drive by Megan Parrish. I was surprised that she had that ball ripped from her. But it will stay here in BCC's possession with 5.45 to play, Craig. Pass to Parrish on the inbound. Parrish going to her left, puts it up, no good off the side. Gets rebounded by Vasquez. Yeah, she just went and she just tried to go into a crowd right there. But Pat, Megan is looking um, extra quick here today. Look, she, she looks a little fresher today. Down pass, Vasquez. Here's a three, no good. Perino can't get to it, but it'll be kicked out of bounds by, that is Raposo. It just seems like, you know, BCC struggles on the defensive rebound. Seems like instead of instead of watching the ball, instead of like finding, you know, finding their player to block out, everybody's just like watching the ball. Oh, nice little pass there by Parrish. Can't get it. Oliver got her own rebound. She's gonna get contact. So the foul will be drawn, and they are gonna say it's on the shot, so she will go to the line. And you can see a little bit of the better offensive flow when you got Kaylee Oliver out there because now you got someone else who's a threat to score. And Kaylee Oliver moves well without the basket. She's, she's looking at Megan. Megan has the ball. She's cutting to the basket. She's looking for the basketball. Some of the other players on BCC, they're just, they're not going, they're not going to the ball. They're not cutting. They're not doing anything. So how can you expect the offense to run? if you're not looking to score or looking to get, look to get the basketball and score. <laughs> nice job there by Kaylee Oliver hitting both free throws. Let's we'll see if they can cut the lead to 10 at the end of this half. Bounce pass again, lazy defense. Yeah, as they, Tatiana Correa gets that one in for two. Yeah, she shouldn't have been able to catch the ball right there in the middle of the paint. No one collapsed on her and she was just able to Put it off the glass. BCC trying to do the same thing, but unlike uh, BCC's defense, the Knights do collapse on Deborah Banks and it forces a turnover. Again, just overall, BCC's defense has been less than stellar so far in this contest. Cool, and they got to be tired too. They're, the substitutions haven't been there. They're having to play the whole half virtually. And um, the zone just hasn't been good. They're going to call travel on, I believe that is Nia Mims. And now we are going to see Iris Rivera. So Iris Rivera will come in for Casey Amaral. And now we're going to see our little quartet, Craig, of Casey Oliver. I mean, uh, Kaylee Oliver, Megan Parrish. There's Iris catching the ball. Nice pass to Oliver in for two, and it's good. <laughs> there it is, instant offense. Right away, Iris Rivera making her name be heard on a nice pass to Oliver for two points. Yeah, she could have went up with it, but she found a, she found a uh, open Kaylee Oliver in the corner. And she did get a rebound, but it got knocked away, and it's going to go off of Rivera, so this will be the Knights basketball. Thirty-five to eighteen. Got tipped away, or tipped up at least. Oliver had it for a second, but Raposa still came up with it. Here's a two-pointer, no good. That's gonna Iris is gonna let that go out of bounds, so she's gonna take it herself. Yeah, that was wide left. It was shot by Avi Lindo. You saw her go to the ground after trying to sell a foul. Didn't work. As Oliver gives a nice pass to Banks, and Banks is going to get fouled on the play, and she will go to the line. BCC needs to just take their time, find the open player, you know, work, you know, work this defense of the Knights, and just, just really take their time. It's a lot of time left in this, in this game. And now you got, looks like Kaylee Oliver and Iris Rivera. Looks like they're going to be playing the rest of the game. So now... You got you got a bench now. 
something that you haven't had all year. So maybe they can climb, maybe they can work and manufacture their, themselves back into this one. Deborah Banks going two for two, making it 15, a 15 point game with 340 remaining in the half. Yeah, just gonna chip away at this lead. Here's Hands looking to drive, tried to pass it though, as Mims gives it away back to Hands. A little back and forth action between these two. Ooh. Way to get out on that shot. There you go. And Mel, it was a oh. it was a good attempt by Megan Parrish. Almost had it. You know Megan's gonna hustle. Almost had that one. Yeah, we always talk about some of the other players, but there's without a doubt Megan Parrish is the heart and soul of this team. Heck yeah. That well, one Hernandez gets blocked. got her stuff blocked. But Tatiana, or Hans has it. That one's blocked again, but there's going to be a foul on the play, so I believe Hans is going to the line. Speaking of Hans, BCC with more active Hans right now, blocking shots, you know, attacking attacking Knights players, going after them. The zone defense has been working a little bit better. We haven't been able to see the Knights really get that open three-pointer shot in a while. Well, the BCC rotations are better. They're rotating to the ball better when, when uh, the Knights go to swing it to the corner or to the wing or try to drive and dish, BCC's rotations are there. They're getting, they're extending that defense out to the perimeter and uh, they're not getting harmed by the outside shot anymore like they were. Knights back to the full court press as that one's air mailed over Oliver's head. Can't do anything about it. Yeah, you don't like to see Megan Parrish pick up her dribble there. She shouldn't have picked up her dribbles or someone should have came to the basketball, helped her out. Hands now driving again, gave it right to Parrish, but Parrish falls out of bounds. <laughs> Gracious. Megan Parrish has been involved in like the last three possessions, last few possessions where she's either lost the ball out of bounds or thrown the ball out of bounds. And in this case, it's gonna be BCC basketball. Did that go off? That must have went off the Knights. I guess I guess it went out of bounds before. Uh, actually, I don't know what happened. Cause Par the ball hit Parrish. I guess it did just go off one of the Knights right before she went for it. Nice picking up man to man, woman to woman. Ooh, That's goodness. the Parrish catching it in stride. She's looking to pass, gives it to Oliver. Hernandez is on Oliver, gives it away to Banks. Banks looking to use her body to drive up and no good, but rebounded by awesome, Iris, awesome. gets it in for two. Awesome. Deborah Banks, let me tell you, that's what I want to see. Catch the ball, drop step, be controlled, and put that up and get a good look. That's what ADA contractor needs to do. Hands drives, no good. Rebound by Rivera. BCC can get back in this game. They just need to be focused. Gives it to Perino, gives it right away to Parrish. Oliver thought about it, going to her left, giving it away to Parrish. Rivera, she can shoot from three, she gets it. She got a screen, she's just gonna drive and put oh, it up yeah. off the glass. She can do that all day. No one's gonna get in front of her. Nice take there by Iris Rivera, good job. Down 13. BCC starting to make a game out of this. Get it to under 10. Driving the paint, BCC's defense Put being your picking hands up. up. Open three is oh, good. Oh goodness, that's too late getting there. That is Mia Nims, who was a scoring machine at the beginning of the game, went quiet for a while, gets a three. Is a nice pass to Banks, puts it up, no good, but use those legs. Almost got her own rebound, they're gonna stay, it stays BCC's ball. Deborah Banks, sometimes she gets the ball underneath. She has a chance to score, just a little bit too flat-footed sometimes. Needs a little bit, a little bit more elevation. Bounce pass doesn't work. As Little John gets it, gives it to Hands. Hands and kicks it, hands. though, out of bounds. Hands with the lack of hands as that one goes out of bounds. BCC's ball. Hands with the butter hands right there. Iris knocked it away, stayed with it. That goes off of her foot. Comes up with it, loses it as Hernandez has it. And a travel on Hernandez, wow. Lucky break for the Bayhawks, as I say, with a 15 point game. And you know, Iris Rivera, you know, she has, obviously she has good handle. We know she can shoot the outside shot, but she also has a pretty good solid frame on her. And I'm sure she can do a lot of, a lot of good work in the post. And foul away from the ball goes on Deborah Banks. And they're gonna call a push off on Deborah Banks. In the meantime, Casey Amaral is subbing in for Megan Perino. 
Casey Emerald, I believe, by default wins best shoes on the team. <laughs> best shoes, best hair. That's a deep three by hands. My goodness. Missing the rim goes off the backboard and into the hands of Iris Rivera. That was a Brickowski right there. Yep, out of bounds just wide of Oliver. And you don't need you don't need to make you don't need to advance the ball like that. There's no need to throw to make that pass, you know. It wasn't like she was open underneath the basket. That's a bad pass there by Rivera. Nims again, Nims again with the three, no good. Iris Rivera yeah, gets the rebound. She's getting too many good looks out there again. And there's a long now pass. that's a good pass. But Banks can't get it. Oh, yeah, Deborah Banks couldn't hold on to it. Just a little bit too long. Deborah Banks could have caught the ball, but just kind of slipped through her fingers a little bit. A little bit too long, maybe. But BCC getting better offensive looks, better offensive chances uh, with this with this new lineup in there. Yep, there's a lot of basketball left as there's 40 seconds left in this half. Some swing motion, and there's yeah, another travel. Travel. We've been, travel. We've been seeing that quite a bit now from the Knights in the second quarter. Well, BCC's forcing them into it. They're they're actually they're actually hawking to the ball now. They're actually getting out there to defend these perimeter players, perimeter shots. Right now, that man-to-man -man defense, full court, is this affecting BCC right now? Deborah Banks sets a screen as Rivera pass, and it tried to get it to Banks, air mail off of Banks and out of bounds. Shot clock will be off, so it's CCRI might be holding for the last shot to end the half. It's just too quick a pass. I mean, if you lob that ball into Deborah Banks, she could jump up and catch it, but you just throw a bullet past her head. I mean, come on now. CCRI taking their time here. Probably just going to let the clock go down to end the half. Might as well 15-point game right now. Just D up if you're BCC. Get D up. And Strides throws it up off the glass oh and gets goodness. it to go. She's like a magician out there. She's like IT. She's like IT with how small she is, how she's, a, how she's, a, how she's able to get that shot off. They're like, where is it coming from? It's like coming from her hip. And that was a crazy play, needless to say, the end of half. And at the end of the half, the score is going to be 41-24 to in favor of the CCR Knights. We'll keep it right here. We'll be back with some second half action here at FRC Media. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of this BCC women's basketball game against the CCR Knights. Dave Cardoza and Craig Salvador, of course, from FRC Media. Dave, what did you see during the first half of this game? Well, I see BCC at the beginning, at the beginning of this game. They were slow rotating to the basketball when um, when the Knights were in their half-court set. We see Nia Mims hit a few open jumpers from the perimeter out there, and um, the Knights were able to get a lot of open looks. But since then, you know, BCC has done a lot of better job locking them down out there from the perimeter. But BCC just had too many turnovers, and the Knights really getting out on the fast break. We've seen Teandra Hands, you know, um, and Kelsey Hernandez, you know, being uh, catalysts for the Knights out there on the fast break. BCC starting on offense and immediately turn it over as that ball goes into the hands of Kelsey Hernandez giving away to hands now. Yeah, it's that duo right there. And that's what I mean. BCC flying to the basketball better right now. Hands for three, no good. Yeah. Oliver almost got the rebound. She saves it, so she will get it. It's Megan Parrish with the long throw over to Iris Rivera. Rivera looking to drive. Bodies her opponent, can't get the ball to fall. You know... The Knights don't have a big team. They don't have a tall team. Iris Rivera can get in there. She's five foot nine. She can get in there and score. You don't have to settle for that jumper. Nope, not a tall team, but they're very scrappy, especially with Kelsey Hernandez and Teandra Hands. And here's and they, a and they nice moved, play. And they moved the ball well, and that pass was to number five. That is Avi Lindo. Avi Lindo. Parrish gives away to Rivera. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass. Nice pass by Rivera. Nice give and go there. Yeah, Iris that, Rivera. That was, that was shocking. The flashy pass. <laughs> yeah, that was a flashy pass. That was a nice bounce pass to make it Parrish. Nice hands. Puts it up and in. Mims now for three. No good. Eventually they're going to go cold. There you go. This pass here is Casey Amaral who loses it, goes out of bounds, and it will stay for BCC ball. I didn't see it. Did, uh, did Nia Mims try to knock it out of her hand? Yeah, she knocked it out of her hand. Mm. And this is the best lineup right here, Craig, with um, with Iris Rivera out there, 
who's tossing it in right now. Oliver, step back for three, no good. Kaylee Oliver, the freshman who just shot the ball. Deborah Banks. And Amaral out, though. Long pass to Mims. Hangs on to it, gives it to Hernandez. Hernandez driving through the paint, losing it, stays with it, gives it to Mims. Wide open three, gets it to fall. No, See, she doesn't. I mean. Megan needs to look up. Ooh. They miss a referee missed that one. And you see Megan Parrish, good for Megan Parrish because she looked up and Megan Perino was, was open. But Megan Perino hasn't shown that she can control the ball and, and, and catch the ball. So Megan Parrish thought twice about it, and she carried. Megan Parrish not shooting well from the outside like she has in the past, but she's doing a good job of being aggressive going to the hole. Must be listening to the broadcast, Greg. <laughs> Hernandez trying to cross over and I'm not a on a foul. I'm not a coach. I just play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Dave the coach Cardoza. We are the C team. Pass to Hernandez, puts up a three, no good, just short. The night's going cold now. There's a long pass to Perino. Perino puts it up, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts that one up again, no good. Rebounded by Tatiana Correa. Okay, I want to apologize to Perino, but she did catch the ball and had a couple good looks. Hands no good, Parrish with the rebound. Parrish long pass to Banks, who catches it, takes her time, throws it up, can't get it. Oh, that was a nice look. Megan Parrish, such a good passer. That was a good pass to Banks. Just couldn't, just couldn't put it in. Hands wide open for three. No good. Knight's not shooting well from the outside. BC, you know, the Knights are just launching three-pointers at will, and they're cold right now. They're, they're, they're getting too full of themselves right now. BCC needs to slow the game down and work the ball into the paint, get it into Rivera, get it into Banks. Megan Paris needs to drive to the hole and create. Come on. Double team on Parrish as Rivera trying to hang on to it, and she can as Hernandez picks it up. I don't know what Rivera's doing. Hands gives it to Hernandez. Hernandez for three. Can't get it again. These girls are three-point shooting happy. My goodness. Now the Knights not able to score. I think it just shows a lack of respect for BCC right now. The way that they're shooting three-pointers like that. BCC's given them this game because they're just turning the ball over. Banks gets that one, turn around up, no good. Rebounded by Mims. Man. Mims gives it away to Little John, gets the contact and the foul from Banks, so she'll go to the line. I think BCC's playing a lot better defense than we've seen in the past, much more, um, much better, more aggressive defense than we've seen in the past. They're flocking to the ball. It looks like they're playing with more energy. Looks like they're communicating a, a little bit better on, on the defensive end. And they're not allowing the easy shots. Since the early going, they're not allowing the easy shots like they were before. And the Knights are shooting, ter they're shooting terrible from the perimeter now. They stink right now. Goodness. BCC has every opportunity to get back into this game. John goes one for two as Deborah Banks gets that one. Gets the rebound. Take it to the hole. Banks sets the screen. Rivera passes it to Oliver. Oliver up there and in is. for two. There it is. There's the chemistry right there. A nice pass. A nice look by Iris Rivera. 44, 28, 6, 13 remaining in the quarter. Little John loses it. Go. Rivera gets it up with the steal. Little nothing. Bounce pass to Banks. Banks looking to give it away. She's going to take it herself Deborah? and put it up, and they're going to call an offensive foul. They're going to say that she probably pushed off on the, on the shot there. BCC hasn't drawn, or they haven't given too many fouls in this game. No, they have not. Hernandez thought about it. Now she's going to drive through the paint herself. She's going to give it away. They're gonna call a foul. Is it gonna call a foul? I think so. Looks like an offensive foul. Yeah, it's gonna be an offensive foul. A year contractor will come in to give Deborah Banks a spell. 
Pass to Rivera in the corner. Rivera puts up her first three. No good. Contractor gets the rebound, gives away to Oliver. Oliver driving down, tried to give it to Contractor, Man. but it got stolen. Megan Paris playing out of her mind today. A lot of hustle. A lot of tenacity. That's what I like to see. You were saying oh. get pissed. I think she's getting pissed. <laughs> That's right. Hernandez puts up a three and no good again, yeah. but somehow Little John gets it and puts it yeah, back for Little two. Little John snuck in there. Iris Rivera, someone should have blocked her out. Oliver gives it away to, uh, to Rivera, driving to her oh, left. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. A contract who can't get to the fall, gets oh, her a rebound. Man, no good. Oh, man, that's too bad. Iris Rivera, a, she's a sneaky good passer. Yeah, she's definitely got some flashy passes in her. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Maybe your contractor couldn't connect, had the right thought, but. Pass over to Parrish, gives it back to Rivera. See, when Parrish passes the ball to Rivera, she should be cutting to the basket. Oh, nice little hook shot there by Iris Rivera. Yeah, perfectly in motion, it's a 16-point game. Some of these games, some of these women games, I'm not going to lie, Craig, have been kind of boring. But this game, even though it's a 16-point lead for the Knights, I'm kind of interested in this lineup. I think this lineup right here with Parrish, um, Ira Severa, Kaylee Oliver, and uh, Deborah Banks on the bench right now. But with Deborah Banks and uh, Casey Amaral, I think that's the best lineup, the best skilled lineup that BCC can put out on the floor right now. And then you have 80 year Contractor coming off the bench. And Megan Perino, I think that's the best. I think that's the best way to go. Little John throws it up, no good. Rivera gets a rebound. And see, this is where this is where BCC doesn't have to go crazy now. They can just slow it down. Oliver planning, giving back to Rivera. Rivera step back, three pointer, Bang. good. Rivera for three. Step back three, looking like Steph Curry. Comes hands trying to cross up, throws it up in the basket. She does get it to go, there but they're going to call a travel. There you go. Now you're with them. Now you look up at the clock, Reagan, and they're down by 13. Rhode Island shooting themselves out of the game, shooting themselves in the foot. They're going to go back to the zone defense instead of the full court press. A lot of time left. A lot of time left in this one. And Rivera with the ball. BCC with a chance to cut it to within 11. It'll be the closest they've been since the early going. Parrish looking to drive, gets it knocked away from her. Man, that's what I mean. You got to capitalize on these chances when you're climbing back into the game. You got to keep that momentum going. Tough turnover there by Megan Parrish, but she's one of the big reasons that BCC is as close as they are. It's a short jumper, no good. And the Knights able to recover with it. Here's Hands now looking to drive, looking for a Euro step, can't get it to go, and it gets knocked out of her hands. This will be, C be BCC's ball. And that's good. I and mean, we've seen Tiandra Hands get so many open looks, easing herself into the lane there, and BCC wasn't going to let them do that, let her do that there. She shouldn't be able to do that. I know she's got skill. I know she's got heart. I know she's a pretty good player, but she shouldn't be able to get into the middle of the defense like that and score all the time. Kaylee oh, Oliver trying man. to hit Parrish in stride, no good. Knocked out of bounds by the Knights, though. I'd like to see BCC score here, cut it to within 11. Let's see what they can do is a break, a nice pass to Amaral, but she can't hang on to it. Knights get it back. It's too bad, BCC had a chance to cut it to within 11 or 10. And stepping back, gives it to oh, Hernandez. Good job there. And Hernandez able oh, to get that one man, to go. That's a dagger three right there. BCC climbing back into this one. That was a deep three. And when you take a million shots, one's bound to go in. Yeah, am I, right? I was just thinking that. Good pass to Oliver. Gives it away to Rivera. Rivera puts up a three just wide. Hernandez with the rebound. So you don't need to play that hero ball. Gives it to Mims. Mims taking it herself, puts it in. No good. Knocked away, though, and the Knights will rebound it. By number 13, Jada Littlejohn. Three no good that time for Mims. Parrish gets My the rebound. God. Holy. 
Paris driving to her left. Nice pass to Oliver. Gives it to Rivera. Now Rivera looking to drive way off. I thought they would have called a push. I thought they would have called a foul there. And nothing doing. Hernandez Down. with the ball taking her time now. Short jumper for two, and it's good. And as you said, Craig, you take enough of these, you take enough of these jump shots, eventually a couple of them are gonna fall. BCC just inept on the offensive end. Can't get anything going today. Pass to Banks gets taken away from her. Foul goes to Welska Kelly. 51 to 33. It was just a, it was just a 13 point lead. Couple threes. Couple threes, another jumper there. And uh, just like that, 51, now they're saying 51 to 35? Where did that point come from? I don't know, now there's gonna be a timeout called. Got some extra points going up there. And it's back to 33, so confusion resolved, I guess. So BCC to me, Craig, just looking like on the offensive end, like they're just impatient, like they're just looking for the, the first try. They're, they're settling, and they shouldn't, be, they shouldn't be settling. They have a chance to get back into this one. You know, Rhode Island, I like to see their shooting percentage right now. It's not good. They missed so many shots. The only way they've been scoring in the second half is, you know, getting their own misses and putting it back in. Yeah, definitely. Just in this quarter alone, they must have taken about eight or nine three-pointers, missed all but one of them. But again, as you said, they have been better on the rebounds. But ever since Iris Rivera was in this game, really uh, BCC's defense and their rebounding really got better. Yeah, and BCC's, they're contesting a lot of these three-point shots. They're not, they're not getting open open looks like they were before. And that's, yep. a, that's a testament to their defense right now. Now Iris Rivera going to be on the bench along with Adia Contractor. And after the first timeout, we got another timeout. Well, Craig, this Thursday is a huge day at 4 p.m. on bccradio.org. Um, you can look up BCC Radio on your TuneIn app. Look up uh, Bristol Community College Radio.org. And you can listen to the Dirty Water Sports Hour with myself, Cardoza, and the phenomenal Portuguese cowboy himself, Mr. Craig Salvador, sitting right next to me with the great Lucy Cabral. And um, the C Team Championship Radio takes place at 4 p.m. It's the return of the Dirty Water Sports Hour on BCC Radio. Yep, because you can never get enough of me. <laughs> it is a nice pass, but Banks can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound, trying to step back and throw it up and good gets it to job. go with two points. Good job to stay with it. Good focus, good concentration there. And on the second the second time she gets it in there, good job by Banks. There's Raposo in the corner with a little Lonzo Ball-style three-pointer. <laughs> See the way her shooting form is as Hernandez puts this one up, can't get it to go again. Again, the Knights struggling from the outside as Kaylee Oliver gets the rebound. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, nice crossover. Breaking ankles as Parrish getting to the hole there. And BCC scored there on the last possession. I didn't see the two points get added. Was, was the, um, the, score, the scorekeeper just being psychic, predicting those two points? And, and perhaps we did, before the timeout, we did see it was uh, 35 mysteriously, went back down to 33. Went back down to 33? Yeah, it went back down to 33. Oh, I never see it go back down, so, okay. Well, yeah. anyways, 51 to 36, if you can cut this lead to 11 or 10, could make for an interesting fourth quarter. Right now, it's uh, 14 points. With uh, 90 seconds left in this third quarter. You don't want to get into a running match with beat with um, with the Knights. Travel, there you go. That's been, the, that's been a problem with the Knights through, uh, throughout this game. We've been seeing them travel a lot in the game. That's right. And I think that a lot has to do with BCC's defense. BCC's defense on top of it. And now, slow the game down. Slow it down. You're not going to get into a running match with these girls. Megan Parrish is doing exactly that. Gives it away to Kaylee Oliver. Slow. Methodical. One minute left. Give it away. Parrish picking up the speed, throwing there it up. There it is. The good um, movement without the basketball. Just failed to get it, get it to go. Hands going to the corner. Going center in it now. Oh, see, someone's going to come up on ball. 
Lil Jung is a way to Raposa. Raposa looking to drive, throws it up off the glass. That one takes a while, but Deborah Banks comes up with the rebound. 45 seconds remaining in the quarter. Love to see BCC score here. Pass to Perino. Perino loses it, and it just trickles out of bounds. Amaral couldn't get to it in time. Iris Rivera checking in the game for the final 40 seconds of the quarter. It's Casey Amaral coming out. Megan Perino, love you mean it, but it seems when she gets the ball lately, it's just a turnover waiting to happen. Get a hold on to that ball, Megan. Inbound. I don't know what I was about to say, but anyway, that one was good from the foul line. Number 24, Waleska Kelly. Rivera now off the glass and no oh, good. Oh, man. I, I thought that went in, but no, it didn't. Shot clock is off 20 seconds. See what the Knights do if they hold for the last shot. They're going to give it to Little John, and they're just passing around right now. And they are going to be trying to hold for the last shot. Hernandez kicks it back out. Raposo for three. No good. BCC with the rebound. They just got to throw it up. Gives it to shoot Perino. It. She's got to ah. shoot it. Could not do it, and that ends the third quarter, 53 to 37. BCC, every time they climb back into it to get it to around 14, 13 points, and they have opportunities to get it to even lower than that, they just can't get close enough. Can't get it going offensively, and they're not shooting the ball well. You know, you see Ira Severa usually hitting threes, and Megan Parrish, Kaylee Oliver. You know, that's usually the, uh, the trifecta group right there, but they're not, they're not hitting from the outside. And if you're not hitting from the outside, Craig, they can just slack off you and, uh, you know, day to drive. We haven't really seen too much out, uh, outside shooting in general from BCC. They've been looking to drive more than shoot from the outside. They do have prominent three-point shooters on their team. Well, that they haven't been getting the looks. The looks that they had, I mean, they've been forcing – They've been forcing contested threes, the shots that they have taken from out there. So, I mean, we've seen our Severo with one step back three that she had to make room for herself on that one. But we, it's, not, it's not like we've seen them wide open from the perimeter. The shots that they've had, they've kind of forced. And they just turn the ball over a lot. I mean, that's just the, that's just the story of the game. A lot of, lot of turnovers. A lot of kills basketball. A lot of... A lot of missed shots. Hands for three, no good. Rebounded though, and up and in for two is Waleska Kelly. I don't know. I don't know why you're letting Waleska Kelly get in there and rebound like that, but Oliver for three gets there it to go. It is. That's a big one by Ko. The glasses power getting it for three. Now let's get some turnovers. There's a travel. Another travel. Dave Cardoza, the psychic, calling turnovers. That's it. The Tony Romo of FRC Media. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that make me? I don't, Jim Nance? I don't know. <laughs> as long as I'm not the Joe Buck. Joe Buck. You're just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I'll take it. <laughs> The Jim Ross of FRC Media. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, then you should have your cowboy hat on then. Uh, my 10-gallon hat. <laughs> Too bad I'm not an Oklahoma fan. Hey, Oklahoma in that playoff. <laughs> Aris Rivera to inbound. Let's see if BCC can cut into this lead. That's Megan Parrish. Nice pass to Rivera. Good passing from BCC. And they're going to call a foul on the floor. Yeah, that was good there. Yeah, that was a few good passes there. And foul on number 12, Shepard. So that's going to be BCC's ball again. And we'll see if BCC can cut into this lead. Rivera's Parrish wide open. Parrish She's going to put up a three. three. Oh, goodness gracious. Rivera's there, though. Rivera. Oh, yes. Rivera with the reverse behind the head lay-in. Oh, my goodness. 13-point game. Here's hands. See what she's going to do. Raposa thought about a deep three, but no. Here's Vasquez oh, who gets nice stuffed. Oh, nice block by Banks. The boss is certain herself. Losing the basketball, 13 on the shot clock. 
Hands throws it up, no good, tipped up, and Parrish is able to get the rebound. Parrish is driving with a full head of steam, stops herself. Taking control her time it, with it control now. Control it, Megan. Banks throwing up off nice the glass and in. There you go, nice entry pass there by Parrish, nice turnaround. Good job by Banks with the good footwork there on that one. DCC heating up, it's an 11 point game now. Here's one from outside, Way can't off. get it to go. Get that rebound. But there's a foul and I think it's on Kaylee Oliver. And it is. And Craig, DCC back to within 11. They haven't been within 11 or this close since the, uh, the, opening, the opening minutes. Yeah, we've seen a couple good offensive plays and right like that again, only 11 points. Also, the foul wasn't in an act of shooting, so they're not even going. So the Knights aren't even going to get foul shots off of it. And Another there's a travel. travel turnover. Another travel. Another travel by the Knights. Talk about turnovers. The Knights have had a lot of turnovers as well, and many of them have been because of the traveling. And right now, out there, we have the line you've been talking about wanting to see all season. Vera cross court pass there. Three for Oliver, almost had it, but a good Banks rebound by rebound. Banks. Oh, got to use glass, and if she puts it out, great effort by the boss. Not able to get the bucket, but does get the foul as Avi Lindo is fouling her. Deborah Banks going to the line, looking I'm, to make this down to single digits. I'm impressed by KO, not Kevin Owens, but Kaylee Oliver. She has a quick shot. Ooh. Come on, Deborah Banks, gonna take a deep breath, bend your knees, just relax. And she's been one of the better free throw shooters for BCC as she misses that one. Bear had the rebound, got it ripped away from her. And that's good, and so both free throws miss, but Iris Rivera with the great hustle and getting her hands on that one, they call jump ball. Possession arrow in the favor of your Bayhawks. Trying to break, see Megan Parrish get sent to the ground. They're going to call a foul on, um, looks like they're going to call a foul on number five. They're going to call a foul on number five. Looks like it, this will put BCC in the bonus. No, not quite yet. One more, Craig. BCC got to get it in, oh, goodness gracious. That's a bad turnover right there because you're getting back into this one. If I'm Coach Serge Moniz, I'm, I'm going to call a timeout there. The play will continue. Hernandez trying to direct traffic. BCC in zone. BCC in a 2-3 zone like they've been in all game. Around the world action. Here's Mims for three. Gets that oh one to go. Oh, my goodness. And every time BCC has climbed closer, Mims with that three ball. Gets it back to a 14-point game. Rivera going through the paint, puts it up off the glass, no good. Oh, and they're going to call an offensive foul. Rivera going out of control there. Storming into the Knights defender, offensive foul. Hernandez driving, gives it away to Mims. One going through, up and in, Ooh, off the goodness. rim and in, off number the, five, Avi hit, Lindo. The ball hit like under the rim and like flipped up and in. Because physics. <laughs> Step back, jumper for three, no good off the front of the rim. Man. BCC was within 11. BCC looking to get the ball back as there's a three-pointer, no good. Rivera has it. Still a lot of time. Yep, just under seven remaining. And there's the timeout you were talking about. Well, they needed to call a timeout earlier before Iris Rivera threw the basketball out of bounds on that inbound play because the, um, the, uh, the, the time to inbound the basketball was, was cutting it to the quick. I would have called a timeout right there. Nobody was coming to the basketball. That was a key possession. And then on the other end, uh, there, Nia Mims with a three-pointer. It was 55-44. Knights on a little 5-0 run. Extend the lead back up to 16. So every time BCC gets close or gets closer, has a little bit momentum in their pocket, 
the uh, the Knights come with a with a dagger three. It's a hard name to say, Nia Mims. I think so? Yeah, well, because it's, uh, I don't know, the N and the M, it's kind of difficult. Cause <laughs> I, I find myself saying, like, Mia Nims. Mia, Mia Nims? Mia Nims. It's like all one word. And some technical difficulties with the clock. Well, they want to cut the clock down to 6.45. But they need to reset that shot clock. Well, the shot clock is going to be winding down. Oliver in the corner. Gives away to Rivera. Shot clock at an eight. Oliver for three. Line drive oh, in and goodness. out. Perino had the rebound but got knocked away. I thought she got fouled. Mims now with the bounce pass. And they're going to call, I think, a foul. I think it's on Parrish. They're gonna call Megan on the. They're gonna call Megan with the push. I believe it's on the pass though. Yep, the foul is not in the act of shooting. Amaral in for Perino. Get on that. So BCC playing, playing good half court defense. And the Knights are going to call a timeout. Coach Brittany Brown will call a timeout for the Knights. Hey, CCRI is like our little sister right down the street, right down the road in Rhode Island. So 60 to 44, Craig. Down, down 16. You know, it's not, it's not impossible to try to climb back into this one, make it a game. But BCC has, they failed to have any kind of lengthy run. You know, they, they make a couple shots, make a couple good plays, and then, um, then they kind of shoot themselves in the foot a little bit. They've, had, they've yet to sustain a good offensive run. Yeah, at this point right now, both teams have been pretty even despite the Knights having that, uh, that you know, quick that, start. that lead. Yeah, they had the quick start. It's like, basically what it's like is when you're on the highway, someone's like just barely ahead of you, but you're both going 70. <laughs> like, they're still ahead of you, but you're going the same speed. <laughs> and that's basically been this game through the, really the last three quarters of this game. The cowboy with the analogies. He's up to go into the hole. Now you don't want to take your time. Now you want to get going. Rivera gives it away to Parrish. The foul is on Kelsey Hernandez. <laughs> Kelsey Hernandez foul with the uh, surprise with the foul right there. I think it was kind of obvious. <laughs> I'd check. I would tee her up right now. And there, there's the bonus, Craig. Now BCC in the bonus. That's the 15 foul for the Knights. So BCC will be in in one and one territory. All I can think of is Isaiah Thomas on the Cavs. His first stat on the season is a technical because he's because uh, he's still on IR. But um, he was chirping during one of the games. He got a technical. So technically, if you look at his stat line, he has zero everything and one technical foul. Oh jeez, that would figure BCC. I still love it though. I still love it. I'm actually wearing my uh, Isaiah Thomas Celtic shirt right now. I'll take Kyrie any day. Oh, I thought she stepped on the line there. Nope. Is there it is, another travel. Yep, didn't step on the line, but Mims travels, makes up for it. So it is the turnover in BCC's ball. 528 remaining in a 14-point game. Come on, BCC, climb back into this one. You keep getting our hopes up. Every time it gets so close, you know, you let us down. Come on, let's go. Parrish gives it to Rivera. Rivera tried to get the oh, pass. Oh, tried to get a give and go. She gets it back, though. Pass it to Oliver. She does not. Iris Rivera looking to pass too much, and she's passing to people that are not going to score. I mean, I just don't understand. There's Mims in the corner. Lofty three. No good. Rivera nice gets the rebound. rebound by Iris Rivera. I'd like to see Iris Rivera drive to the hole. Oliver the pass to Parrish, puts up a two. 
No good. Rebounded by Mims. Paris not hitting from the outside. Still a 14-point ball game. Oh, nice strip there by Parrish, and it's going to go their way. Nice strip there by Parrish on Adia Lindy. She lost it off her leg going to the basket. Nice defensive play by Megan. Parrish looking to drive all the way, oh, but gets block. blocked. And it's Lindo who gets the revenge. Yeah, Lindo, she returned the favor. Parrish stripped her on the other end, forced her, to, forced her to turn it over off her leg. And on the other end, Adia Lindy, number five there, Swats. Brings the Swat team out there on Megan Parrish. Rivera looking to pass to someone, gets it to uh, Parrish. Rivera again with it. Turn around, jumper, no good. She will draw the foul, though. I tell you what, these little girls like Kelsey Hernandez and, and Tiandra Hands, they may be small in stature, but they they stay in they got quick feet and they stay in front of you on defense. I wouldn't be trying to go face up with them dribbling the basketball. I would be backing them down. Iris Rivera gets that one to fall. She makes this. It's a 12-point lead with 415 to play. And she will get both of them to go. So again, Bayhawks bring it back to 12 points, a little over four remaining. Hands puts up a three. She's Coming been trying. Off. She's been trying all game. There I think you she's go. made only one. Deborah Banks, when she gets that reap, when she gets that ball, she holds on tight to it. Good job. Four minutes to play. Shot clock winding down, 12 seconds. Here's Rivera driving, going all the way, gives it away to Contractor. Oh, no way. And it's an no offensive way. foul on Iris Rivera. No way, that was a good drive by Iris Rivera, and then she found an open 8 year Contractor, and they're gonna call her for another offensive foul. Hernandez thought about it. Gets Get out the there and put that hand up. Hands drives it, missing it, and it's a travel. Another travel. BCC has to take advantage of these travels. BCC is doing a better job at uh, defending Tiandra Hands. When she gets into the lane, they are stopping her. Right when she gets into the middle of the paint, they're not letting her go any further. And BCC's defense significantly picked up as this game goes on. BCC, since being down 18-3, Craig, here's a cool stat. They are actually, when you talk about that, Oh my goodness. He's gonna, cut her off. He's gonna cut her off with the pass. Oh, nice defensive play by Parrish. Good job to obstruct her shot. Parrish doing a great job on the defensive end. Cool stat here, Craig. Since the 18-3 um, start there, BCC's outscored um, the Knights 45-42 to since that 18-3 start. So when you're talking about going 70 and all the other crap you're talking about. Thanks. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, I, I get it. See, what I say makes sense. It's not everyone understands. No, I guess, yeah, just, you, you made perfect sense. So 18-3, 45 points since then, 42. That one just lazily goes out of bounds. And they're going to say it went off either Kaylee Oliver or Megan Parrish might have touched it last there. Three minutes left to play. You're only down 12. Where's that defensive tenacity that we've seen? Hernandez for three. Gets and that's it to gonna, go. And that's going to end it. Game over. Good night, Nurse. That's what I mean. That dagger three, that's the story of the game. And, and you know, Craig, I don't know what the case may be. If you had Iris Rivera out there and Kaylee Oliver at the beginning of this game, you probably win this game, or you're probably at least in this game. But for whatever the reason, Coach Serge Moniz kept his ladies out. And there's another three, and then you can really say goodnight. Deep sleep. Just like that 18-point game. Man. If there was ever a time for the Knights to start hitting their threes. And that was Audia Lindy with that three. Oliver tried to get it no good. 
Man, it's too bad. BCC with a good effort, I think, here tonight. Just a bad start. They're getting up to bad starts. 18 to 3 to lead this one off. And you did, but you didn't have Iris Rivera and you didn't have Kelly Oliver. Not that those two girls actually played well anyways when they got in there, but you could see the difference in the in the in the offense. And Mims gets both free throws, makes it a 20-point game, two minutes remaining. I mean, I'm sure whatever the reason was for not starting or not playing Kaylee Oliver and Aris Rivera, I'm sure it's a good one. You know, so is what it is. But you can see the kind of team that they can be when they're out there with Megan Parrish and, and Banks and you have your whole repertoire. There's a deep three from Megan Parrish. She has yet to hit from the outside. She has not hit a three-pointer today. Mims takes it in and no good, gets her own rebound, throws it up again, no good. Off of contractor, so it'll stay Knights basketball. And you hate to see BCC finish this way. They were just down by 13. They, they cut it to within 11 at one point at, um, towards the end of the third quarter. And now you're down 20. BCC's kind of lost that jump they had in their step. Defensively, I'd say they were better, but offensively today, not good. 48 points isn't going to win you too many games. Oliver gets a foul as she swats Raposo out of the air. I think exactly. Cat Raposo, you know, BCC has done a lot of better job on, um, on drives to the basket by the Knights. The, the Knights, at the beginning of this game, they were flying into the lane, you know, um, dropping layups left and right. Floaters in the lane by hand, by Tiandra Hands and um, and Hernandez. They were able to get in the paint anytime they felt like it. But BCC doing a good job of stepping up and, and defending um, drives into the into the middle of the paint like that. They've done better, but. Um, like I said, I think it's most, mostly it's the offensive issues. So up in that Serge Moniz is going to have to get back to the drawing board and, and, uh, and correct. But as we await, we got the undefeated men's Bayhawks team, Craig, coming up. They're 8-0. 8-0 no. no overall. 8-0 no in Region 21. You know, one of the top teams in Region 21 right now. And they're going to take on the Benjamin Franklin Institute, who is 0 and 6. 0 and 6 overall. 0 and 10 in regional play. I don't think it works like that. No. No, he said 0 and 6 overall, 0 and 10 in regional oh, 0 play. 0 and 10 overall, 0 and 6 in regional play. I don't know. They, they don't set us up well. Yeah, we, ju we just go with it. Yeah, we just go with it. Yep. But um, BCC not taking on CCRI. They're taking on Benjamin Franklin Institute. Never heard of it. <laughs> Should be, we'll see. 0-10, um, probably a reason you've never heard of it. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin Institute, BFI. I think it's Institute of Technology, so I think they're BFIT. Ah. Thanks for that. Hey, it's a little bit of knowledge. It's the end of the game. We just got to find tidbits. Final minute of the game it gets thrown out of bounds. That ball going to the, towards the locker room. And Knight's been constantly look to push the ball, constantly look to fast break. I think BCC was trying to get into a running match with him and just wasn't happening. Being too impatient on the offensive end. You know, taking too many risks with certain, with long passes, turning the ball over. There you go, Megan. There you go. Megan getting into the teeth of the defense, puts it up off the glass and in. That's something that, she's that she could have done more of, I think. And Oliver gets a steal. Nice. 
She's going to take it all the way. Now PCC wants to get it going. The foul is going to be on Oliver, an offensive foul. Wow, another offensive foul. Are you sure about that? Did she get her feet down? I don't know. I think that might be her fifth. I don't know. I can't is see that. that. Fifth? I can't see that far. Either way, not going to matter. Final 30 seconds. Here's a three. No good. There you go. You take a three-point shot with like 27 seconds left. There you go. Air you deserve, you deserve to miss. <laughs> Air balled it into the hands of Rivera. Going to the rim. No good. Banks hits the rebound. Getting fouled on the play. Iris Rivera not having a good shooting game. I mean, she's gotten to the free throw line a few times. She's made a couple shots. She's made, she's made a few pretty passes. The offense has definitely been circulating better with her in there. But, I mean... Her shots have been horrid. She's been hitting the ball to the side of the basket. She's been hurling the ball at the basket, not setting her feet. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on. But, you know, I guess it'd be, you know, when you, when you sit for almost the whole first half and then they put you in with, like, a few minutes left in the, in the second quarter, you know, I guess it could be kind of an adjustment period when you're usually starting or, you know, stuff like that. Come in, you come in cold, it's not always easy. There's a three-pointer in base with 2.5 seconds remaining. Rivera just going to chuck it. <laughs> and it's the top 0.5 seconds. They just won't let this game end. But with 0.5 seconds remaining, they're just going to inbound the ball. Mercifully, mercifully coming to an end. They're just going to inbound the ball. Clock will go, and the final score will be 72-53 to with the Knights winning the game. And that's all she wrote for the first game of this doubleheader, 72 to 53, Dave, in favor of the Rhode Island Community College Knights. Well, BCC will drop to they will drop to two and seven overall, 0 oh and seven in Region 21 play. And I thought BCC came to play today. They showed a lot of energy, but just on the offensive end, just couldn't get it going. Um, our BC, our Bristol Community College Bayhawks play of the game. I'm going to give it to Megan Parrish. I just think she, just her hustle, just exhibited what a Bayhawks player should be like. And I think her hustle all around and just her will to win today. I just thought she showed a lot of energy, was being more aggressive. And um, I'm, going to give the, I'm going to give the Bayhawks player of the game to Megan Parrish tonight. So there you have it. Megan Parrish is our Bayhawks player of the game. So with the final score of 72 to 53 for FRC Media and Dave Cardoza, I'm Craig Salvador saying stay tuned for the men's game later today. Good night.